this is Eternal Blade with part 24 of the bathroom tutorial. Uh, so we're going to start off by taking, we're going into uh, vertex mode and target welding a few of these verts because they were causing us a little mesh problem. And that solves it quite nicely. Next what we're going to want to do is make a cylinder in this same view here, about yay tall. Rotate it 90 degrees. Just pop it right inside of our other mesh. This can go down to about 20 sides. Increase the height and just make sure that it's aligned about as well as it can be, and that's right where it should be. So convert it to an editable poly. Go into polygon mode. And um, bevel. Right, just bevel it outward. Oops. We'll just make a little ball here. All right. It's rather difficult when you get these like little small scale things. But there we go. And finally we'll um, select this bottom edge here. Loop. Okay, not gonna work. So just select the bottom polygon. Control select edges. And then chamfer. And give them a small chamfer just so the mesh smooth doesn't affect them as much. So actually what we can do is just select this, edit the little poly, attach, select that. Okay, and then mesh smooths the whole thing. There we go. We have a nice mesh smooth object. Actually let's just clean up the inside here a bit, just uh Inset that twice. Should fix it. Alright, and let's get the back as well. Alright. Looks good. So select that and just name this spigot. Save and let's see. Rotate this 90 degrees. Make a cylinder with a radius of 1.75. Okay, and let's just scale this down and move it over. Rotate this 90 degrees and center it, put it into the wall, and let's just see what we have over here. All right, let's uh, blow up the perspective a bit. We'll It is 1.5 inches down from that. All right, so make a box. Length 1.5. I'll 
just double check that measurement in a second. And bring it up. Okay. And delete that box. Let me just double check that measurement there. Alright, I knew something looked weird about that. So what we're gonna do is make a box with a height or a length of 17. And we'll just put that over here by the tub. The other one was actually measuring to the bottom of the tub, but I uh made a mistake and put it at the top, so I'll select these and bring them down. There we go. Now we have everything back into scale. Alright, next we're going to make a rather simple feature. It's the uh, overflow valve. So Alt B files. Let's see if I have one on hand. No, so there we go. Well, I guess we don't actually even need one for this, so just uh, go back into your perspective and let's see here. Just make something on the wall here. Height. Make it an inch. Radius. Make it 1.5 inches. And convert to an edit. Uh, uh, yeah, convert to an editable poly. And then just select these edges right here. Loop. Okay. Loop. Chamfer. Give it a few chamfers. Give it a quick mesh smooth. Oops, let's uh, not forget the back. Just set that. Ooh, that's kind of nasty. Okay. Um, select the back polygon. Control click the edges here. Then give it an extremely small chamfer. That should solve that problem. Actually. Okay, select these two edges in here, loop, and just backspace. So I'm not liking those in particular. Uh, next, what you have to do is make sure you get all these vertices. So go in the front view here. And just select Backspace. Get the rest of them to do the same. Backspace. 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 And backspace. So what I'm trying to do is just give it a bit more rounded of an edge. Alright. Um, polygon, inset this a few times. Okay. And there we go. It's decent looking. Let's actually give that two iterations. And we'll bring it, we'll call it overflow. material. Black. Okay, next go to the top view here. And F3 and just line it up. Okay, go into the perspective. And let's just bring it down and over a bit. And that'll have to be it for this part. We'll uh, finish uh, aligning this in the next one because I still have to get the measurements for it. But, yeah. Alright.